Hello and welcome back to the My Phoenix YouTube channel. This week we have a new release for you and it follows on from the E18R V2 as we had last week with the small torches theme. New into My Phoenix this week we had the PD25R. Now I really like this light. We've had this demo model for about two months now and I've really fallen in love with it. It gives you that tactical feeling in a light, but keeping it small enough that it's more than practical to have with you at all times. The PD25 Arc is a really fresh update to the original model, the PD25, which was released in 2019. The styling is similar to the PD35 V3, and you might say it's the mini version of that. So let's have a look at the light in some more detail. This palm sized light is 92mm high, with a head and body diameter of 24mm. Weight wise, it comes in at 78 grams. At the rear, we have a single button that activates the light. It has a button guard here to prevent activation, but won't tail stand. On the side, we have our mode switch, which is exactly the same as the PD35 V3. This is also the built in battery indicator, with solid green indicating full to 85%, flashing green 85 to 50, red 50 to 25 and flashing red the last 25% when it's time to recharge. Next to the button, we have some practical and stylish fitting elements which will help with cooling. The reflector is roughly 15mm deep and is of a smooth aluminium style which will help to increase the range. The LED mounted in this light is a luminous SST20 LED. When we compare this to the E18R V2, the PD25R doesn't have the same output but on the same light level it does have longer run times. This might suggest a more efficient LED. Around the head we have a slightly crenulated bezel. This is more style than function, as these aren't rugged enough to be a smash bezel, but they do allow some light to be cast out when placed down, and is a way to let air in to prevent any materials potentially getting burnt. The one big upgrade we see with this torch is the R element, which stands for rechargeable. For this torch, we see a hidden USB-C port under this rotating slide cover. It has a really nice feel to this, and because of the sharply cut threads, it reveals rather quickly and easily. We also have a rubber o-ring on the side to keep the waterproofing, as long as you make sure it's done up of course. The power for this light is provided by a small 700p, 700 mAh 16340 battery. If you plan on using this torch a lot, you might want to consider a spare battery. Easily replaceable, and you can carry on your run times a lot further. Finally, we have the two-way body clip. Perfect for clipping to yourself or a bag. This torch will be perfect for any molly gear you might have as well. So let's talk operation. To activate this light, you simply click the top button with a full press. We can do momentary activation by depressing the button halfway but not a full click. Great for staying stealthy, you can light up an area and switch it off without making any noise. It could also be used for signalling, say Morse code for example. The PD25R small size makes it possible to switch modes using your little finger, which saves you switching back and forth. We have 5 modes with this light. Eco, 5 lumens. Low, 30. Medium, 150. High, 350. And Turbo, 800. The Turbo and High modes are affected by temperature regulation, where Medium and Lower give you constant output throughout use. We also have a strobe feature that can be activated by holding down the side switch. To turn that off, you can either press the side button again or click the tail switch. Note, you cannot go into strobe from it being off. You'll have to activate the real switch and then use the forward button. In the box, you get a USB-C charge cable, lanyard and spare O-rings, a small holster which is a nice little addition, and your information including your warranty card and instruction manual. As an extra, you can purchase this, an AOD S V2 diffuser. This is great as you can use the torch as a handy lantern, giving you light all around rather than in one direction. A quick look at the beams here. As said, it's got quite a tight reflector, so we get a good hotspot with limited spill. You can see the pattern isn't as smooth as an orange peel reflector, but we get much more distance instead. Like I said, I really like this light. It's compact and has enough brightness without going stupid. Something this size won't have lasting power at say over a thousand lumens, so I think it's a much more practical unit. 
We say the only downside to this bike is the limited battery size, considering these two torches have the same size battery, yet a big difference in size. Do you think you could have got away with a little bit more capacity? Or does the functionality of this pretty handy unit make up for that? What do you think? As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.